here is my foundation for this pattern can you see so right now i'm going to proceed i'm going to chain four one two three four have one chain four i turn it over and i yarn over the hook i insert right here can you see with triple crochet so I proceed and insert into that loop triple crochet I proceed here with triple crochet proceed into the loop triple crochet into that loop triple crochet triple crochet triple crochet so can you see so right now I'm going to chain one you will discover that I stop at the sixth loop one two three four five six so i'm going to chain one then i yarn it over the hook i insert right here triple crochet so i'm going to chain four one two three four I yarn it over so I'm going to insert right here with triple crochet so I proceed I chain another four one two three four I yarn it over I insert right here with triple crochet so I chain another four one two three four so I yarn it over I insert right here still with triple crochet So I chain one, I yarn it over, I insert here with triple crochet. I 
you see so this is how i'm going to proceed till i round up this segment So as you can see, I've completed the round. Can you see? So right now, I'm going to proceed. I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. So I haven't chained four. I turn it over and I yarn over the hook. So I insert right here with triple crochet. So I proceed. I'm going to chain two, one, two. Having chain two, I insert in this big loop with single crochet, and that's why I have two chains. So I bring it out like so. So I chain two, one, two. So this time I yarn over the hook, I insert right here with triple crochet triple crochet so i proceed again i chain two one two haven't chained two i insert into this big loop here with single crochet can you see so i proceed i chain two one Two. I yarn it over and insert into this loop here with triple crochet. So I proceed. I chain another two. One, two. So I insert into that loop with single crochet. So I proceed. I chain two again one two so i yarn it over i insert into this loop with triple crochet so right now i'm going to chain one one then i yarn it over i insert into this with triple crochet So I proceed into the next loop, triple crochet. Next, triple crochet. Next, triple crochet. Next, triple crochet now as you can see i have one two three four five five triple crochets here now i'm going to chain two one two haven't chained two i yarn it over i'm going to skip two at the base so i'll be inserting in the third loop one two three with triple crochet so i proceed to the next triple crochet next loop triple crochet so i proceed next loop triple crochet So I proceed, triple crochet, so I proceed into the next loop, triple crochet. So right now I'm going to chain one. I yarn it over and insert into this loop with 
people project so i change to one two so i insert into this big loop here with single crochet so i chain two again one two i yarn it over this time around and i insert right here with triple crochet so i chain two again one two so i insert into this loop with single crochet so i chain two again one two so i yarn it over this time around and i insert into this loop with triple crochet so i proceed i chain two one two so i insert into that loop with single crochet so i chain two again one two so i yarn it over this time around and i insert into that loop with triple crochet so right now i'm going to chain one i yarn it over and insert into this place with triple crochet can you see so this is how i'm going to proceed till i round up this and very segment you can see i've completed the round can you see so right now i'm going to proceed i'm going to chain four one two three and four so having chain four i turn it and i yarn it over the hook i insert into this loop with triple crochet so i proceed into the next loop triple crochet next loop triple crochet so right now i'm going to chain two one two so i yarn it over the hook i insert right here triple crochet sorry So I proceed, I yarn over into the loop, triple crochet, I yarn over, so I insert into that loop there, triple crochet. So I proceed. I'm going to chain two, one, two. So I insert right here. Triple crochet. Next. next triple crochet so right now i'm going to chain one so i insert right here the triple crochet so i chain four one two three four so i'm going to insert right here 
Ayan hoba the hoof. I insert here with triple crochet. So I chain another four. One, two, three, four. I yarn it over. I insert right here. Triple crochet. So I chain another four. One, two, three, four. I yarn over. I insert triple crochet. So I chain one. I yarn over, I insert here, triple crochet. You see, this is how I'm going to proceed till I round up this segment. As you can see, I've completed the round. Can you see? So right now I'm going to proceed. I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. So having chain four, I turn it over. Then I yarn over the hook. I insert into the second loop right here with triple crochet. Sorry. I insert into this loop here. Can you see? With triple crochet then I proceed I chain two one two having chain two I insert into this big loop here with single crochet the midpoint so I proceed I chain another two one two so this time around, I yarn it over the hook, then I insert right here with triple crochet. So right now, I'm going to proceed again. I chain another two, one, two. Having chain two, I insert into this next big loop with single crochet. Then I proceed, I chain two, one, two. So I yarn it over, I insert into this loop here with triple crochet. So I proceed, I chain another two, one, two. So I insert into that big loop with single crochet. Then I chain two again, one, two. I yarn it over the hook, I insert right here and you see with triple crochet so I chain one then I yarn it over I insert into this to give me another another loop like that can you see so right now I'm going to proceed into the next loop with triple crochet. So I proceed into the next loop, triple crochet. Can you see? So right now I'm going to proceed into this loop, still with triple crochet. Yes. So I proceed into the next loop right here with triple crochet. So right now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. So I yarn it over. I insert into this loop here with triple crochet. Can you see? So right now I'm going to proceed. I insert into the loop next to it with triple crochet. 
then I insert here triple crochet so I proceed like so into the next loop with triple crochet triple crochet can you see so right now I'm going to chain one haven't chained one I yarn it over I insert into this loop here still with triple crochet so I proceed I chain two one two so I insert into this big loop with single crochet can you see I chain another two, one, two, two. Then I yarn it over. I insert into this loop here with triple crochet. Triple crochet. So I chain another two, one, two so i insert into that big loop as well with single crochet i proceed one two i yarn it over the hook i insert in this loop here triple crochet and you see so i proceed i chain two one two so I insert into the big loop with single crochet. So I proceed. I chain another two, one, two. Can you see? I yarn it over. I insert into this with triple crochet. And you see, so this is how we are going to go. This is how I'm going to proceed. Till I round up this segment. As you can see, you see, you discover that it's a repeated pattern. So this is how it's going to be repeated till I finally complete this tutorial. As you can see right here, I've completed that the round. Can you see? Can you see? So right now I'm going to proceed. So I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. So having chain four, I turn it over. I yarn it over the hook and I insert right here. Can you see? With triple crochet. Triple crochet. So, can you see? So, right now, I'm going to proceed into the next loop with triple crochet. Then I proceed, triple crochet. So, right now, I'm going to chain two one two so having chain two i yarn it over i'm going to skip this one here so i insert into the second loop still with triple crochet so can you see so right now i'm going to proceed i yarn it over i insert into that loop there Then I proceed into that loop with triple crochet. Can you see? 
So right now, I'm going to chain another two, one, two. So having chain two, I yarn it over. I skip another one here. So I insert into this next loop here with triple crochet. I proceed to the next loop, triple crochet. Next loop, triple crochet. So right now, I'm going to chain one. Then I yarn it over. I'm going to insert right here. Can you see? Here. With triple crochet. So I proceed. I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. So having chain four, I yarn it over the hook. I insert right here with triple crochet. And you see, so I proceed. I chain another four. One, two, three, four. So having chain four, I yarn it over the hook. So I insert in this loop here. Can you see with triple crochet? So I proceed, I chain another four, one, two, three, four. So I yarn it over, then I insert here with triple crochet. So I proceed, I chain one, I yarn it over, I skip this loop, I insert into the next one here with triple crochet, triple crochet. So I proceed into the next loop, triple crochet. Next triple crochet now I'm going to chain one two having chain two I yarn it over I'm going to skip this one and I insert into the next loop here with triple crochet then I proceed into the loop, triple crochet. I proceed in the next loop here, triple crochet. So right now, can you see, I'm going to chain another two, one, two. So I yarn it over. I'm going to skip one and insert into the next loop, triple crochet. Next, triple crochet. Next, triple crochet. Now I'm going to chain one, I yarn it over, I insert, I skip this loop, so I insert into the next one, triple crochet, can you see, now if you look at it critically, you discover that um, coming from this side, after this loop here, I have one, two, three. Three triple crochet then with a loop in between then after that I still have another three one two three 
can you see with a loop in between then if you count the one beside this still one two three then with a little lip loop beside it you will discover that this loop here is is in a is in line can you see so then i proceeded with these three big loops can you see well arranged so then i proceed into this little loop can you see is well arranged too can you see so before i move to this I discover is three three one two three with a loop in between one two three with a loop in between then one two three then with this small loop so this is how i'm going to proceed till i round up uh, this tutorial so far so good i've come to the end of this tutorial can you see so beautiful part a pattern I see if you like this video you can click on the liking button to appreciate this work i thank you all for taking your time to watch this tutorial thanks very much till i come your way another time bye for now